Jim Cran, Randy Bauman. It's the DVE Morning Show. Well, we've talked uh, uh, about the pensblog.com before. If you haven't visited it, you, uh, you need to, but you better do it soon because I'm not sure exactly what's going on with their name. Adam and Derek from the Pens Blog joining us right now. Fellas. Hey, guys. Uh, if you could, first of all, yeah, yeah, we're very, uh, you know. Uh, uh, we're fans of your blog. Big, yeah, big fans of what you do. The Photoshopping you guys are able to uh, put up there is, is nothing short of hilarious. Any, yeah, any Pens fan should go to you guys. So No doubt about it. And but, uh, you seem to run a pretty respectful blog there and everything. But now someone sort of cyber squatted. On what you're doing, explain exactly what's happening. The uh, uh, the process by which you guys have been sort of jobbed here. <laughs> uh, first of all, thanks um, for last week. You guys uh, promoted the Mary Lemieux Foundation and the Rinkatology thing, which is what, uh, which is why we're even talking about this today. So we wanted to thank you for that. But yeah, how much money uh, did you end up raising for the Lemieux Foundation? Our, our ceiling was ten thousand sixty six dollars. Uh, the last number we received from the foundation was over twelve thousand dollars. Wow, that's great, man! Great, so, I mean, great yeah, work, that is, guys. That's pretty cool. We're glad that we were able to use it, use the site, uh, and use your powers the- for good. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> um, so, cyber squatting hate to sound, you know, like a couple of whiny girls about, and even using the word cyber squatting sounds kind of weird online, but it's just like house squatting. Somebody will go buy a uh, domain, for instance. Um, Whenever uh, Palin was was chosen to be vice president, might be a bad analogy here, but uh, whenever Palin was chosen to be vice president, someone immediately went and bought McCain-Palin.com. Okay. And they would then force that campaign, whenever they would see that domain was taken, they would make that cam- campaign pay them a premium price for that domain. Right. And extort them, basically. Right. Yeah, I um, thought there was some legislation passed to make this illegal. Yeah, but like people, people do this all the time. People actually make a living out of this. It's pretty, pretty sad and pathetic. But uh, what happened with us is that we we made this site called Rickatology dot com, which is a play on Bracketology dot com, Bracketology, which is uh, you know NCAA March Madness stuff. And we uh, people at Antipa dot com and Tipa Web Solutions, they made a program that you could fill out an NHL bracket. We called it Rinkatology, whatever. Uh, we bought the rinkatology.org domain name because we were going to be affiliated with a, with a charitable foundation, marylemieux.org. We felt it was not necessary to buy the .com name. Uh, the Monday that this, web, that this site went live a couple weeks ago, Monday, April 13th, someone went and bought the rinkatology dot, rinkatology.com name. And the weird part about this is this person uh, about five or six months back, or probably two months back, bought pensblog.com. When we're the pensblog.com. And okay. wow. So in, in buying Rinkatology.com, anybody that wanted to actually uh, perform a charitable act to donate were then sent to the wrong website, and they were sent to this guy's website instead of yours. In, in, in some cases, correct, because we were linking people to .org, but you would search Rinkatology in Google, and .com would naturally be the first result, and you would click it. And what this person did... You would go to the .com address, and he put a disclaimer on his website that said, you have reached the home of rinkatology.com. You are probably trying to visit rinkatology.org. And he linked to our website, which was a good thing. Right. But then at the bottom, he said, courtesy of the Pittsburgh Penguins blog, Penn's blog. And then when you would click that, it would link back to his own Penguins blog. Like, that's disgusting. Now, how, why is that disgusting? Because someone's driving in their car right now, they're going, I don't get it. Yeah, I mean, this, this, we've, you know, just the long and short of it is, uh, you know, we've, we've worked a couple years on this blog, you know, it's just immature jokes and whatnot, but we've built a pretty big <laughs> community of, of Penguin fans on the internet, and we're really protective of it, and then we had someone here coming and sweeping this name from under us, and taking credit for what we did. Yeah, and you spent and, years trying to build it up, it'd be like if someone took the name of our show. Exactly, speaking of which... Um, not to get off subject, we actually, in good faith, we bought the WDVE.com for you guys. <laughs> so this guy went and steal it. Oh, oh nice. nice. Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> this guy, he'll, come, he'll come to your house and he might steal your house tonight. You don't know this guy's out of his mind. Now, wow. this guy has threatened you with, with lawsuits, right? Yeah, he, um, he, uh, he, well, we, we first told him, like, hey, man, you know, just, you know, if you want to negotiate this and, you know, just, you know, we, we, but we had to buy the ring ontology, you know, based on, Based on watching, you know, uh, the negotiator, we, we, we you know, we, we didn't want to, we, you know, uh, Kevin Spacey told us not to, not to do anything, but right, right. You know, we, we had a, you know, we had a, we had a, we had to get this guy, 
and uh, appease him. So we had, you know, we had a sweet talk him and everything, and uh, we didn't, we didn't want to, but we had to do it. And so, you know, after that, you know, we're like, all right, we let it go because the Pens were playing the Flyers, and the thing was way more important. So we're like, all right, we'll let it go. But then, you know, we had some off time. We were still so mad about it. They're like, all right, it's time to blast this joke. And uh, <laughs> so, you know, so we, you know, we went after him, and you know, he starts crying. He emailed like the the owner of our network, you know, our CEO, and was just like, oh well. You know, you're, you're going to get, you know, sued. And then, you know, he's around, like, just yesterday, he probably sent about, you know, 25, uh, 25 messages to users on our blog, you know, different, calling some people fat to, uh, <laughs> to, uh, I mean, just, just bizarre messages that no one really uh, even understands. Well, that's, see, that's why people think the Internet's a joke, when you do <laughs> stuff like that, you know? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's like, I mean... <laughs> Like well, the only the only the only legal representation we have is you know what Law and Order show we launched last night. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know.